Well, today is President's Day, but it's also National Drink Wine Day. And what a better way to start the week than to celebrate right here in the studio. I mean, it's 820. It's late enough. I'd like to welcome the tasting room manager at Fieldstone Winery, Ryan Mulrennan. Thanks for being here. I told you, you I love heading downtown Rochester and drinking your wine slushies. Slushies are great in the summer. They are. What's Can't good in the it. winter? What'd you bring for us so today? So what I brought today is I brought our strawberry wine and sparkling raspberry rosé. There's Salsa. a song about strawberry wine, isn't yeah, there? there? Is. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about the five S's of tasting. So, so teach me how to be a fancy lady. So the five S's of tasting, it starts with C. So just look at the color of it. Smell. It's good to me. S swirl. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. It's 100% strawberries. I don't know how to swirl. I'm not swirl it. Bad. Don't want to go too far because it will come out. I know, right? That would be something I would do. Sip and savor. Sip and savor. What about cheers? Aren't you supposed to cheers. cheers? There we go. All right, so we're pairing food with wine all the time, and you always hear that. What are some of the tips and tricks you have for that? So a lot of it's trial and error, but like strawberry wine. Oh, this is good. Put this with the milk chocolate, and it's unbelievable. It's something yeah, you would never think of. Yeah, a lot of people have their leftover Valentine's Day chocolate. Perfect thing to use for milk chocolate. I love this. All right, so you guys are in Rochester. You brought some wines here. Where do you get your wines? Do you make so your own wine? So we make everything right in downtown okay. Rochester. Nice. Um, we have tasting rooms right on Main Street, and we produce them about a half mile away in our production facility. That's amazing. Great. It's nice. It's walking. You've got a little outdoor area. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for that to reopen, oh, right? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Let's Not see. soon enough. So people say wine needs to breathe, right? Yes. So it's more reds than whites, but as far as you got to think, that bottle of wine has been closed for some of them, a year, two years. Yeah. It's got to let it escape a little bit. About 20 minutes, a half hour. Some people put them into canners. Or now they even have aerators, so you can just pour it right through and drink it right away. There's a lot of fancy wine accessories out oh, there yeah. now, right? So what's an urban winery? Urban winery, so essentially, majority of wineries, you see them up north, rural areas. Yeah. Where we're right in a downtown setting, so it's not something you're going to expect right away, but we're actually making it right there, too. So it just kind of gives you that nice setting of being local, close to home, and you don't have to go as far. I love it. It is my home. Rochester is my home. All right, so I finished this one off, and you said we're going to try another now one. Now we're going to try a sparkling yeah, raspberry rosé. Oh, I love that. That sounds amazing. And while you're pouring this, tell me what's in the can over here. So what's in the can over here? We brought a couple hard ciders, our Sanilla, which was a gold medal winning cider. Is this a new thing, the hard cider for you Hard guys? cider, we've done it for about five years. Nice. And then we got a coffee infused one with uh, Three North Vines in Lexington Coffee up in Croswell in Lexington, Michigan. Our Rogo, which is a straight cider. And our new thing for the summer, we got wine in cans. Mm. Eight ounce cans, perfect for the boat. Is beach. this new? I know, that's perfect. You can put mm -hmm. a little koozie on yeah, it. You're good to go. That's genius. Don't have to bring that glass to the beach. I love it. All right, so tell people where the tasting room is. So a tasting room is located right at downtown Rochester yep. at 223 South Main Street. I love between it. Between second and third. We'll put all the information on our website, WXYZ.com. Thanks for Thank you. joining us this morning. National Drink Wine Day. I, I was kind of telling everyone, Kevin, that earlier we were joking about needing a drink with all of this weather.